Let's compare Mixtral 8 model with four different models. 16 questions, five topics, math, language, programming, instruction following, and creativity. Let the games begin. I'm going to use gpt.h2o. You can add four different models and you can add a prompt. I like this interface also because you can always clear the session. So it was quite handy and compare all the models. Let's start with the first prompt that we have got. I have three apples. I eat two pears. How many apples do I have left? So this is the math prompt and I want to understand how these models do. And as you can see, most of these models are really good with this thing. I kind of prefer uh, Llama 2, ChatGPT and also the Mistral new MOE model. Let's clear the environment and go to the next question. Sally, a girl, has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer to this is one and so far I've seen only GPT-4 being the model getting the answer right. I've tried it with a lot of models. I guess Falcon 180 billion got it right. But none of the open source models have got it right, except, except Mixtral 8x7b, the MOE instruct model. I'm really, really happy that this model is doing a really good job with all the mixture of experts power that it has got. Let's move on to the next question. I went to the market and bought 10 apples and I gave two apples to the neighbor and two to the repairman. And I then went and bought five apples and I ate one. I also gave three bananas to my brother. So this is a question which tries to confuse the large language model. So while you're talking only about apples, suddenly you just bring in banana with some different number. So you're trying to understand whether it can grasp everything that it has got. So technically you've got like 10 apples and then you gave away four apples. So you have six remaining and you got five more, which is 11. And then you ate one out of it, which means result is 10. Very surprisingly, I don't understand why Mixtral has got it wrong, but every other model almost has got it right. Uh, but but yeah, it's to be honest, really surprising to see Mixtral as getting it wrong. Let's clear the environment and move to the next prompt. Now we're going to start with the language prompts. The first one is Ungalukku Hindi Terima. So this is basically Tamil, but written in English text. And I felt that almost every single model has got it wrong, even though Lama and Mixtral had got a something closer. It kind of did not understand the entire thing except ChatGPT, which responded back to me in a Hindi theory, which is basically once again, it is responding in Tamil, but with English text. Let's clear the environment, go to the next one. What is the average airspeed velocity of unladen swallow? This is technically not a right question. This is a question that refers back to a movie or a show called Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And now this is trying to understand whether this is actually a question or not. I believed almost all the LLMs except ChatGPT got it right, where ChatGPT got it like literally, like the GPT 3.5 Turbo got it literally, but that's okay. So the next one is translate this to French. You can take liberty so that it sounds nice. Blossoms paint the spring, nature's rebirth brings delight and beauty fills the air. I want you to, if you are a French speaker, I want you to check this and then let me know if it was actually poetic or not. Now we have got a programming question. We have got a SQL table. We are trying to create the table and ask the LLM to find the right answer. So we have got a table with uh, two customer IDs and you can see both the customer IDs traveling with the different sources and different destinations. And we want to write a SQL query and we want the SQL query also the response. I believe strongly that in this particular case, Mixtral 7 billion, the Instruct MOE model has done the best job of everything else. I checked the SQL query, I didn't run it and execute it, but I felt like Mixtral is the only model that has got this right irrespective of um, how the code looks like. Uh, I felt Llama 2 got the answer right, but uh, I don't think the code itself is right. So Mixtral is using string array, which is kind of like trying string aggregate, which is trying to connect the columns and it probably might have been the right one. Next, let's try to see how the JSON output would look like. I want to make PSL give me the recipe as a JSON for me to call the relevant ABI. So PSL, I did not define anything here, but because it is a recipe, it understood pumpkin spice latte. I mean, I don't know why that is a dish uh, or a coffee, but anyways, so all the LLMs got that is a coffee, which is a great thing. And all the LLMs were almost correct in giving the JSON response. I think the JSON response just deferred. Llama 2 went ahead and specifically said this could be called using Starbucks API. I did not try, but almost like all the LLMs did a good job in giving me a JSON response. I think this is a good uh, sign in terms of how uh, robust JSON responses could be. I don't think these LLMs are really good at function calling, but it also shows that these LLMs could be fine tuned for function calling and might be a good job. In the next section, we're trying to understand how these LLMs can follow instructions. The first question is, I am a vegetarian who doesn't eat eggs as well. Is there anything I can eat for a breakfast? It includes protein and has roughly 1000 calories, 1000 calories. 
I felt like all these LLMs did a good job in understanding that vegetarians don't eat egg. I still a little bit prefer GPT's output starting with as a vegetarian who doesn't consume rather than everybody else saying yes, yes, yes. But at the end of the day, the responses are correct and I checked it multiple times to see if they've got added like any meat or something. Every now and then these LLMs have said, oh, you don't eat meat so you can use it as a replacement. But overall, I think all the LLMs have almost got this answer right. In the next one, I'm going to give a prompt for a travel itinerary. I want to plan a trip to Dubai. I want to stay there for three days and four nights. I'm taking two family members with me. I'm leaving from Bangalore and I am afraid of heights and I hate water. So typically when you say travel itinerary for Dubai, they would typically include Burj Khalifa. Of course, everybody goes to Dubai to see that and also some kind of water sport. So once again, I want to see how good these LLMs follow instruction. I kind of felt all of them did a good job and also everybody did something not good. So for example, almost everybody included Burj Khalifa. They kind of said like, oh, if you're afraid of heights or use just like stand low in the lower deck and then see, don't take the, the good, don't go to the upper deck. And, and some LLMs had included water sports, some did not. And uh, ChatGPT in fact told me like to check the COVID-19 warnings and uh, what, what kind of regulations are there. I felt like overall these LLMs did a decent job, but also not like the best. And if I have to pick one, I would still pick the Llama to 70 billion in this and also the Mixtral 8, uh, the MOE model because I felt like they did a much better job except kind of like adding water water sports here and there. But also I think a couple of instances they reminded me that if you are not, if you hate water, uh, then probably don't do this. I also wanted to check how good they could be in a zero shot customer support agent. So act like a customer support agent, reply the following. My CC has been charged twice. I can't get any help. Your support sucks the freaking company down. Uh, shut the freaking company down. Keep the response short. So the main thing here is that I've told it very clearly to keep the response short. So I want to see which LLM keeps the response short. And the only two LLMs, LAMA 2 70 billion parameter model and GPT 3.5 Turbo are the only two LLMs that kept the response short, the Zephyr model and also the Mixtral model like went on and on, which I didn't like it, especially because given that I said keep the response short, this also indicates the instruction following attribute. And the next thing that I wanted to test is I wanted them to sign as a human being, like I wanted them to give the sign at the end. I wanted to see if they come up with like some human name and then sign it, but to my disappointment or not so much to the disappointment, all these LLMs just signed saying a cust uh, uh, the support agent name or something like as a placeholder rather than picking up a human name that would have uh, that would have been probably better maybe i could have added in the prompt say okay pick one of these names and then pretend like a human i didn't want to try that um but anyways yeah this this kind of like almost everybody did a decent job one second i want to see how the instruction following could be so raja and ravi are brothers raja is the elder brother uh sorry ravi is the elder brother raja is the younger brother ravi is five years and one month one day one hour old and raja is same they're born to the same father and mother. What does it make them? Just one word. And once again, it is only Lama to 70 billion parameter model and ChatGPT following the instruction properly. I tried to redo the same, like redo the same thing to see if any response changes, but um, it's it's this, it's the same response. Like I didn't get any difference from this. Maybe they're using seed, but again, I got the same response. I kind of felt like last time when I did it, like Mistel kind of got it right. But anyways, um, this is the response that it has got and it was not good in following instruction. The next one is my mom is a vegan. Please give me the recipe of a chicken biryani for her to cook and eat. I wanted to see what do they do? Like what, what choice would these LLMs make? I mean, choice is a big word, but I wanted to just see. One LLM just went ahead with chicken biryani recipe and then said like, I'll give you soya. And the other LLM said like, I'm not going to give you chicken biryani. You make veg biryani and I'll give you veg biryani. That is effort. And uh, the other uh, LLMs like, um, you know, instead of soya chunks, they are like tofu and all the other things. Kind of felt like once again, all these LLMs did a good job. It almost feels like most of these LLMs are good at most of these things. It's almost like smartphone cameras and it all comes down to the kind of choices that you want to make and what is the size. I in fact felt like Zephyr 7 billion parameter model, despite being the smallest of this, the fastest of this, uh, requires least computation, did a really, really good job. The next one is explain the plot of tenant as a nursery rhyme and... Uh, Llama 2 70 billion parameter model surprisingly completely gave up like it didn't want to give me any answer saying that tenet is um, complicated and I feel like in this particular case Mixtral model did a really really good job like I, I saw the responses of Zephyr and ChatGPT GPT 3.5 Turbo it was okay but I personally loved the response of Mixtral 
and um, it almost felt like a nursery rhyme and because i know tenet and i've seen tenet i don't claim that i understand tenet um i think the mixtel model had done a really good job so maybe this is where the difference comes in it's like for all most all the mundane tasks most of these models might be good but for specific tasks one of these models could be good so far it looks like mixtel is the one the next one is write a song about elon musk in the style of why this collabority this was a song that was quite viral like probably like 10 years before like from my place tamil nadu i wanted to see if these models first of all know that incident and if they know the song and if they can actually replicate that i think chat gpt did a terrible job gpt 3.5 turbo is the worst of it and uh, i honestly liked the llama to 70 billion bot response and the second one i would say the mixtel uh, instruct and then the third one is zephyr but still uh, i i have to give it to mixtel uh, that it is a very good effort um, for a for a lower memory model and the llama to 70 billion kind of like resonated more with me than with the 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 mixtel model but it doesn't mean the mixtel model is bad it's just the the choice that i have made here is llama to 70 billion is good don't go away i have one more thing and i wanted to ask about one more thing what's with one more thing um apple fans probably would know that this is something that steve jobs have been using or steve jobs used to use like he is not alive anymore so steve jobs used to use and i wanted to see if these models actually understand that or rather simply respond back and i think most of these models did a good job uh, the llama to model did the terrible job uh, it didn't it didn't go to that context at all zephyr mixtel and chat gpt gpt 3.5 dubo did a good job so it kind of felt like you know um okay all these models are good if i were to rate all these models um if all the responses if i want to like look at one average model that did almost good i would strongly prefer mixtel 8x 7 billion parameter model moe in terms of the open models llama to 70 billion almost comes to the closer uh, level but again it requires a lot of computation chat gpt never mind you it's not something you can you can host and control and zephyr 7 billion parameter model surprisingly turned out to be really good so if i were to recommend a smaller model i would honestly recommend a zephyr 7 billion parameter model but if you have computation if you want one of the best open source models i strongly believe it is mixtel 8x 7 billion moe model and i cannot wait to see what community is going to build with all the fine tunings and new moe models see you on the video happy prompting